Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Draw Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Ghost of uh, Tsushima, director's cut is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop and stuck on loading screen which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For this what we need to do is we just need to do a simple restart. Sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. So just go over here in the start icon, go to this power icon and go for the restart. Once the restart is done, just afterwards try launch the game and you have to check. This is what we have to do as the first one. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to launch the game from the, not from the Steam, but from the installation folder. So right now we will be launching the game from Steam and that is why we end up in a lot of issues. So we need to launch the game from the Steam. For this reason, we have to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go over here in the installed file and just click on to browse. So as you can see, when you click on this one, it will redirect you to the installation folder. That's if you check over here at the top that this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, ghost of Tsushima director's cut. This will be taken to this. And now from here, we just need to just launch the game. So uh, as you can see, this is the application. So just launch the game from here and that is what we have to do. Because sometimes, you know, launching the game from the Steam or launcher might be causing the issue. So just try launching the game from here. So hence within the installation folder, I'll be showing you two more steps that is all about. We have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, we have to go over here, right click and go to the show more option, go to the properties, compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. We have to set this to Windows 7 and we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. Or we have to set this to Windows 8 and we have to go for apply and go, go for OK. Next one, we have to click on this one that's run this program as administrator. So just click on this one apply and go for OK as well. So once everything is written, we just need to close over here and we have to go back and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date, time, region, all these things are correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Just go over here in the settings. Now from here, we have to go to the time and language, go for date and time. Make sure time zone automatically, time automatically and both, both three, both, both these three things should be turned on. We have to go back and also make sure in the language and region, Make sure the country is selected according to geography, which means if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom and you have to do the same for the vice versa. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to make sure just click on the play button and press Alt and tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related, but even though this even worked for many users, so you can try this out as well. Just click on the play button and press Alt and tab. Next one is all about we have to make sure to delete the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to the documents. So once you started playing the game and you're saving the game, you'll be getting the folder over here on the game like this ghost of Tsushima director's cut. So just delete this respective folder. Keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, but you have to start from the scratch. Once again, even the deleting the saved game file did work for many so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. This even work it. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel, search for the control panel and navigate to the control panel. Go over here in the system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here we have to search for the game. So keep searching for the game. So we have to search for G. So Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is already added. Make sure both the private and both the public both has to be marked or else we'll be having the trouble. So once it's marked, you're fine with it or else we have to move to the next one. That is all about if the game is not here, we can add it by default for the just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to uh, this PC, go to local list C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, select this one and we have to go for Open and we have to add it. So I'll be getting the error because the game is already added. That is why I'm getting the error. Once the game is added, you're fine with it. Just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. 
Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. As you can see right now, I'm connected already with the joystick. Also, I'm also connected with the Logitech wheel. So this might even cause the issue up. So just unplug the Logitech wheel or whatever the unplugged devices has to be that you just have to unplug it. And also you have to unplug the joystick and once afterwards, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, go for the system configuration and we have to go over here system configuration and we have to go to the services. Go for uh, enable all, uh, hide all Microsoft services first. You have to disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They can ask you for restart. The users are watching this, go for restart. I'm going to go for exit without restart because I wanted to show you the next step. So once after the restart, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. For this, go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here. Make sure if it is turn it on, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the launch option. And the first one is all about we have to go over here. The first one we have to try with DX11. If DX11 is not working, you have to try with DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to start with DX12. So if DX11 and DX12, we tried with both and if it's still it's not working, we can move to the next one that is D3, D2. You can try with D3. Uh, D2 just go for D3 D2 and once it is done D3 D2 is done you're fine with that You can try any one of the things will be working fine Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application So just go over here in the game right click and go to the task manager right now as you can see The first one as you can see these are the uh, background apps running in the background so uh, these things when you're launching these kind of games uh, what happens is if any big things are running over here in the background you'll be having the crashing issue so it is quite important that you have to uh, remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards just go over here and you have to try launch the game and try whether the issue is solved or not if it's still it's not working we have to move to next one that is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here and search for the graphics settings just click on this one and from here, what we need to do is we just need to try add the game. So just click on the browse and we have to go over here and go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the next one. That is all about the ghost of uh, Tsushima director's cut. Select this one and select the application, go for add. So the game is added, just go over here and select the option from let Windows decide change this to high performance because it is running on NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design, go for save. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, go to the advanced once again and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select it the local disk where the game is installed. If you select this, you'll not be able to check this. So uncheck this and make sure this uh, saved disk is selected. Go for the custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need to do a calculator. So we just need a calculator. So the first one you have to type your RAM. The computer of uh, which I'm using right now is of 32 GB. So I have to multiply it with, uh, you know, uh, so I have to multiply it with this one. Sorry, what I need to do is I just need to go over here to the calculator. So just type your RAM 32 GB. You have to do the conversion that is 1024 is the conversion. So that it brings you 32768. Now we this is the total RAM. Multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 14 and 152 and copy this value. We have to paste it. Next one for the maximum size 32 GB just convert it. That is 1024 which is tot total RAM. Multiply it with 3. That brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and go for ok and set every value has been set and we just need to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here navigate to the settings over here go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date so if it's not up to date and you will be having cumulative updates pending and all those things just update it and restart it once afterwards, just try launch the game because you have to run the OS on the latest versions or else you'll be having the trouble. The next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. 
So the NVIDIA users has to select everything like if the product type should be selected. If you don't the product, you have to select this one. If the product series is like this, RTX 40 4 series is there, 14 series is there, 13 is there, 20, 500, many series are there. So you have to select accordingly according to your configuration. So mine is 14 series. Then I have to select the product is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is mine. Mine is the correct. So I have to select the operating system. So I'm on Windows 11. So I have to select this one. And I have to select the game, which is uh, GRD. I have to select it. So it's not studio driver. And you have to select the language and go for search. So when you go for search, you'll be getting this version. So right now, the 631.47 MB is the file size, which is the uh, version is 552.44, which is released on 2024.59, which is few days back and which is supported on both Windows 10 as well as on Windows 11. So download this one and once afterwards, you have to try installing it. So even though, as you can see, there is an ad which is recommending you have to try updating the graphics card so you can run this game. So just download this and install afterwards. Most probably, this should be completely fixed. And if you're on the AMD, because you have to select the go for the graphics first and you have to select which one is yours, you have to select the Radeon 700 series and select yours and go for submit. So you'll be getting two or many options like this. If you're on Windows 11 64-bit edition, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10 64-bit edition, you have to download this one. And once afterwards, try launch the game. I'll be showing you. Just go over here, navigate to the settings, go for system over here, and just go over here to the about. And from here, we'll be able to understand the system type is 64-bit operating system. And as you can see, the RAM is 32 GB right now. So it is based on 64, so I have to go back now over here and I have to download this one and I have to install it as well. Even after trying with this, all these things, still if you are having the trouble, you can try two more steps. And the one among is you have to do a verify integrity of game file, which will cross check every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. So the thing is, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, these kind of issues will be happening. So you have to, uh, you know, what you need to do is we just need to wait for this one to reach 100 percentage and once afterwards it will be fixed up. So just wait this reach 100 percentage and I'll be showing you a few more steps. So once all the files are successfully validated, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, right click and go to the manage and uninstall the game. 
For reinstalling it back, should not be installing it back on local disk C. We have to try a new local disk. And these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.